I have a E Razor 450 Dynam, and uh, I'm going to go over the speed controller here. The manual that Dynam supplies has a bit of an error in it. It talks about setting the brake on and off and the setting the timing mode. And the error basically is is when it describes how to set the brake. It talks about setting the brake and moving the stick after it hears five single beeps. Well, it's actually four single beeps. So I'm going to go through that real quick. Uh, just uh, for demonstration purposes, I've got this EXI 450 Pro frame, and I put an Alpha 400, just a spare motor here, into the frame up to the Dynam speed controller that's inside there. And I'm using the Dynam transmitter system to 2.4 gigahertz which um, it binds every time that you turn it on so I've got to do a little trick of setting it up and letting it bind but then if I unplug and plug the speed controller in real quick it'll rebind uh, right away and that's really the only way to set the speed controller when you have an eraser if you have a, another radio of course you turn it on you turn on the transmitter first then the speed controller it's going to be fine so for these de demonstration purposes I'm doing it the way that you have to do it with this particular uh, radio system. So just as a uh, quick demo, I'm going to show you what happens when you have the, the brake uh, turned on for the, um, for the dyno speed controller. You'll see that when I go to full throttle and then pull it back, what's going to happen is this, the motor is going to stop real quick within a couple seconds. Okay, so that took about a second or two. Okay, that's because the brake is turned on. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show you powering on um, just for the sake of if you have an eraser powering on the system and getting initialized and then coming back and then unplugging and, and what you're going to have to do in order to get into the programming mode. So I'm unplugging the battery to the helicopter and turn the radio off. Okay, my particular process of binding it is I turn on the radio one two three four five then I plug in the receiver and it's all bound okay the speed controller is going to go through a number of beeps through its initialization sequence <clears throat> one thing I do, I do want to point out is before you turn on the radio make sure that this switch is pointed away okay it must be pointed away not in that if you flip it in that direction it's going to be in the idle up mode and what's going to happen is that it's going to initialize and it's just going to start spinning the blades and you don't you do not want to do that okay so i'm all bound and everything is responding helicopters responding and everything i can get the motor to spin up okay so now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to program it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the, the battery and I'm going to do this all within a second or two, okay, so it doesn't try to rebind. So I'm going to unplug the battery, I'm going to throw the throttle all the way at the full throttle to get into programming mode, and then I'm going to plug it in, okay? Full throttle, plug it back in quickly. Okay, those four beeps are what you are going to trigger off of in order to um, set the brake. Okay, I'm going to do that again where basically once you hear those four beeps, you lower the throttle back. Okay, that toggles the brake setting. Okay, so I did have the brake on, and when I heard those first four beeps, I went from high throttle down to low throttle. Okay, and then it beeped twice to tell me that it's putting the brake off. Okay, then it went through its initialization sequence where it beeped the number of times. So now when I run the throttle, see how it's taking like a eight or nine seconds to come back down. Okay, now I'm going to do that again, and when I hear the first four beeps after initializing it with the throttle up. I'm going to lower the throttle after I hear those first four beeps. That, once again, that's going to toggle the brake setting. This time when I toggle it, because it's right now brake off, it's going to be brake on. So unplug, throttle up, plug back in, wait for the four beeps, lower it, 
Okay, that was a single beep. That means break is on. Wait for the five beeps. Now, when I give it full throttle and, and coming back, okay, see how it stops real quick? Okay, I don't want brake for a helicopter, so unplug, full throttle, plug back in. Lower the throttle, the double beep, that means the brake is off. So I've now set the brake, okay? Go to full throttle, and it's basically going to coast to a stop there, okay? The next thing that I want to do is I want to set the timing. Um, I would say use low timing for, for this particular helicopter. Um, I, I don't really see the need unless you're really trying to get an extra 5-10% of power out of the motor to, to run the high timing. Um, you're really not going to get a lot out of it for running high timing with this particular motor and this helicopter. Um, but I'm going to go over how to set the timing anyway. Okay. So once again we're going to go through the, start, the same startup sequence of unplugging the battery throwing the throttle all the way up, plugging the battery in. This time, after we hear the four beeps, we're just going to let it sit there at high throttle. Then you're going to hear a sequence of five single beeps or five double beeps. If you want low timing, you are going to drop the throttle when, you, when, when you're hearing the five single beep sequence. Once it gets into the five double beep sequence, if you lower the throttle, it's going to be high timing. Okay, so let me go through that sequence. Unplug the battery, throw the throttle up, plug it back in. That's the four, first four beeps for the brake. I'm going to skip that part. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now five double beeps. Okay, so if I lower it now, it's going to be in high timing. Okay, it's going to start all over again. Five single beeps. If when it's doing the five single beeps, if I drop it, it's going to be in low timing. And now here we go back to the five double beeps. I'm going to wait till it goes to the five single beeps. There's the single beeps. I'm going to lower it. That was the double beep at the end to acknowledge that you've made a change. The double beep at the end means that the brake is off. If the brake was on when I, when I lowered that, then it would have done a single beep. Okay, That's just an, an indication to tell you what the brake setting is once you've set it in there. It's not an indication to tell you what the timing mode is. Okay? The thing I want to show is on the startup sequence when you plug it in, Okay, you're going to hear a number of beeps and those beeps are going to tell you uh, what the current brake setting is okay so if you hear a double beep and then a pause and then five beeps that means the brake is off if you hear a single beep a pause and then five beeps that means the brake is on so we want to hear a double beep a pause and then five beeps okay and that's basically uh, the way it is once again um, the manual was wrong and it had a misprint there and so the manual was wrong, and that's how to program it. Thank you for watching. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong.